Hi, uh, this is Ryan Garnett from the Struggle is Real Buffalo Music Podcast, and today I'm seeing you via video. Ooh, that's not spooky. Never mind. Uh, so, I don't usually make videos like this, but I got something today, and, um, you know, I've been talking about the band Pocket Vinyl a lot on the podcast. I talk about, um, I think their merchandising is really smart, and the way they take to that is, uh, is a really good example set for others, but I never get to show anyone what it actually looks like. So just to start with, this guy on my right was purchased uh, for, uh, I believe we bought it for our 10 year wedding anniversary. And then we were really upset that Pocket Vinyl got canceled, uh, what, what would have been last summer or last spring. So uh, in lieu of them coming, we then per went out of our way and purchased this uh, from Elizabeth. Uh, for people who aren't familiar with Pocket Vinyl, uh, Pocket Vinyl is a two-piece. It is Elizabeth who paints, and it is Eric who bangs on a keyboard and sings. And uh, at the end of each set, they auction off their paintings. But in addition to that, they also have some really cool stuff. So, let's check out their newest release. So, uh, this is what we got. Now, this was only $30 on Bandcamp, and it's, it's a lot, and it's all very interesting. So... Uh, the first thing that came with this collection is a, uh, we have a bonus, uh, a bonus, uh, p vinyl and, uh, in the form of MP2 autographed by the band. And what this is, is this is a bonus LP that comes in random colors. Everything about this comes in random colors because I believe it's, they said it's better for the environment. So this is a, a bonus disc of ambient music to listen to from the band. It's an, like I said, it's their album called MP2. Then we also have, let's flip over to this guy. Uh, this is their new album, Winter Person slash, how do you pronounce it, Kel? H-U-Y-G-G-E? Huga. Huga, which is uh, kind of a form of relaxation and kind of a Swedish technique for... Coziness and such. Thank you, Kel. So I'm excited to see what color of vinyl I'm going to get. I almost like it better when it's random like that. So let's hope we get something good. So it is, uh, I believe it's a two LP set. Yes, it is. So we get, uh, ooh, we get this. I love the patterns in the middle of the record. We get this kind of, uh, would you say like a hunter green? Yeah. So and we get some of uh, Elizabeth's beautiful artwork in the middle there. And let's see if the other one, next one's going to match that. Again, I love, the, like, the middles here look, look so cool. And, uh, oh, this one's like a darker, just a slightly darker green. Slightly grade. darker, like an army green. So we have their album, both discs of it. We get, of course, uh, a little pocket vinyl card with more of Elizabeth's artwork. And now here's something really cool. Um, this is a book that, um, well, let me just show you. First off, this is some of Elizabeth's great artwork on the front. Now, what the, well, look at that. They thanked me for my support. They gave me a free copy of their album, uh, Old Sun. We got another card. Now, what this is, is this is actually notes about the entire album. And what it does is this side here reworks all the vocals into a comic strip made by Elizabeth. And on this side is actually an essay by Eric talking about that song, which, incredibly enough, has chord changes at the bottom, which I absolutely love. Now, if you'll see there's weird symbols floating around the book. Um, there are Easter eggs and secret codes that uh, I, I, I don't even know about, because we I have, this is my, this is the unboxing, but as you see things floating around. So in addition to being an artist representation of the lyrics, and all of this information about the lyrics and the chord changes. This is, for $30, this is an amazing value. So I basically got, I got this record of ambient music. I've got two really neat colored vinyls. I got a free copy of their album, Old Sun. And this book alone I would pay like 15 or $20 for because uh, I've seen them live enough to know that uh, the way Eric talks is that uh, there are interesting stories behind every track on this album. So I just wanted to show you guys a great example of uh, Pocket Vinyl and their approach to merchandising just because, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty brilliant and I think we could all uh, learn something from the way they do it. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm Ryan Grinnett, and you can now see more about The Struggle is Real at wnymusic.com backslash The Struggle is Real.